Welcome back to the show, and it's long-term report time. I'm obviously on my KTM Super Duke GT, and Matt's got his BMW. Um, well, actually, why are you looking so miserable? Because I'm on a bloody bike lift without a bike. So where's your long-termer? Well, six months is up. It's gone back. Quite depressed. No, no, not quite depressed. I'm really depressed. It wasn't that good. No, it was. It was. It was that good. No, it wasn't that good. These are now your. I noticed you've still got yours. Have you managed that? Because it's so good, I've persuaded them to let me keep it for a bit. So good, you haven't washed it as well. I haven't had time. I've been riding it too much. <laughs> Look, these bikes that we've got, the GT, the XR, everything. What you've got your Multistradas, your Tiger Sports, your Versus Thousands. There's a lot of competition. These are the ultimate all-rounders now. Look, we had last week's show. In fact, we had the three superbikes. We did. And I've been riding the Honda around for a few days. And you're not the man you used to be, are no, you? No, no. I need hospitalisation <laughs> now. Absolutely, my next kill. So. These are super bikes that have got a comfortable riding position. Yes. They're also brilliant at commuting with the right riding position, torquey engines. Completely. Fantastically good at touring, you can get a passenger on. Exactly. Brilliant fun round the track. Fun? <laughs> no. I wouldn't say brilliant, they do have their limitations, but yeah, you can take them round the track, that's yeah. how wide their abilities are. Yes, yeah, basically it is a sports bike with a bit of practicality added, isn't it? Yeah, that doesn't mean I'm still not peeved at... Oh. I'm giving it back, man. I almost, oh. almost prized open my wallet. But then they told me the price and I... Quickly closed prized it again. Prized it back into <laughs> my jeans, yeah. Uh, that's the thing with these bikes. They're not particularly cheap. Uh, the no. XR is a shade over 230,000 rand. And this is a shade less than 230,000 Yeah, so basically rand. identical. So it's basically the, the same XR. price. Look, I really have enjoyed my time with the XR. Perhaps I should go through some of the strengths, really. For me, obviously, the engine is 160 horsepower, it's four cylinder, it's really smooth. A little a bit, bit of more, vibration. A bit more on that later, yeah. Oh, okay. Great amount of torque. Yes. Uh, and the, the best thing about them all, really, is their electronic suite, which I, you know, I kind of thought being crusty and old that uh, we don't really need all those sort of things. Yeah, no, 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 electronics no. suspension, what a waste of time and money and. But actually... Actually, the electronic suspension is fantastic. We even tested it out yesterday. I think it was uh, giving you a lift somewhere. You want to put your passenger on the back. Normally, it makes your bike sit like that at the back, turns it into a chopper, and it's really horrible to ride. You can adjust the rear shock on a normal bike, but you need to get a spanner out, headbutt the seat unit, scrape your knuckles on there, and then give up halfway through and don't do the Just job anymore. Just don't bother. Now, it's literally two or three button pushes, firms at the rear end, and the bike is handling brilliantly with two people on. And there's different grades. You can have one person with luggage, two yeah. people, two people with luggage. I mean, it's just... I kind of... And when we have launches and we test them for a few days, you never really use that stuff. So I'd always thought, you know, what a... Yeah, a bit gimmicky. Do you but really it does actually work. It's fantastic. It makes useful. such a difference. Yeah. Especially, I mean, even for the pillion. Yeah. Now you feel like you're on a bike which is under control, not wallowing around at Completely. the back. Completely. Yeah, super impressive and super useful. The same with the auto blipper gearboxes that seem to have appeared everywhere. Well, you've got one. Yes. I don't. No, you I've don't. Got a, I've got a quick shifter on the way More out. of that later. But uh, they are appearing just about everywhere. And uh, again, I refer back to my crusty fartiness. Yes. I thought, leave it alone, man. You've got to stir the cogs yourself, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that was completely wrong. It's transformed biking as far as I'm In fact, I'm now disappointed when I get on a bike and I've got to do it all myself. Well, you are a crusty old fart, yes, but <laughs> it's, it's amazing how you have embraced technology like that. Uh, they're utterly brilliant. They're, the BMWs is incredibly smooth on the way up, incredibly smooth on the way down, all the way down into first gear, any RPM, low or high RPM. Mm. And it's not until you've used it and you realise how much of one's limited concentration that it takes to, you know, do all that blipping and matching the throttle and all that stuff. Once that's taken away from you, Wow. On the track, you've got more time to pick out apexes and get on the gas. On the road, you've got more time to be looking at what's going on around you. It's brilliant. And I would have it on every single bike from now on. Well, like I say, I've got it on the way up on that one. Sort of. Sort of. More of that later, as I can say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get to that. All right, but then weaknesses. It's the same on yours, actually. I think wind protection a bit naff. Yeah, You not can the adjust best. the screen on the XR. It doesn't seem to make much difference. No, not neither on that. Uh, the seat's also a little bit planky. Uh, and I've got to admit it, I did say this earlier in the test, and every time a BMW potential XR owner has come to me, the first thing they said is, oh, I was thinking of getting one of those. Until you mentioned until the vibrations. Until I mentioned the vibrations <laughs> about three or four months ago. Damn, you got the wrong end of the stick. They're, 
They're not vibrations, they're more like sort of tingles and they're only, I mean, it's just not, I tell you what, to put the vibes into perspective, go I had on. a go on yours. Yes, and what did you think? If you want to put the tingles of the four-cylinder XR into perspective, what you need to do is get yourself a big V-twin and feel the vibes. Unfortunately, Harry's KTM GT is a very big V-twin. So let me give you an example. We're tootling up to the lights. I've got 30 Ks on the clock. It's second gear, not even third or fourth. Yeah, it's a bit lumpy and thumpy and juddery, a bit, I'm sorry, Katie, it's a bit tractorish at low RPM. But I have to admit as well that when you really open it up and start cruising at proper speeds, I don't know about you, but for me, the camera's vibrating all over the place, because that's because it's fifth gear and 70 k's an hour. But when you increase the revs, let's see if the camera smooths, and there you go, look at that, we're doing 100 k's an hour. And all of a sudden, it's super smooth, and the BMW's like that, except a lot less, if you know what I mean. And when it does get a bit vibey, I'm really talking about tingles. They're hardly noticeable. Oh dear, how I wish I'd never mentioned them. Some valid points there. You're taking it like a man. I'm impressed, Harry. I'm hiding me hurt <laughs> quite well, I have to say. Uh, but while we're on the subject, I've actually been um, riding your bike. So this is what I had to think about yours. The first thing you notice when you climb on the XR is the size. It's a big bike, especially when compared to the KTM. That's not necessarily a problem. But it is, it just feels a lot bulkier and possibly a lot more intimidating to somebody of a shorter stature, should we say. Somebody a bit like Donovan. I can, I can see I'm going to do myself out of a long term here because the gear change on the KTM, I like it. It's clunky, it's mechanical, it's solid, but it does its job. The gear change on the BMW, it's like a little light switch. Click, click, you're up through the gears. And the same on the way down, because it's got the quick shifter on the way down as well, obviously. It just clicks down through the gears really nice and sweetly. You don't have to bother with the clutch at all when you're on the move. So I'm sitting here at 4,000 RPM in fourth gear, and yeah, there's a tingling coming through my feet and through my hands. Nothing major, and it's nowhere near as sort of harsh and lumpy vibration as you get on the KTM, but it is there a little bit. Matt has been extolling the virtues of this bike, well, ever since he got it, he does absolutely love it. And I'm determined to think that the KTM is better. Oh, I'm not sure it is. The BMW is a fantastically well-rounded, uh, well-sorted, well-thought-out bike. Hold on a minute. The last six months, you have given me unmitigated grief about my boring old man's BMW. And if I listen to that, it sounds like you... Well, you quite like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is a deeply impressive bike. Yes. But... Why do I sense there's a quiet but, though? It's a bit boring for you, isn't it? But you, how can it be boring? It's got 160 brake yeah. horsepower. It's just turbine smooth. I'll tell you what but... spoiled your impression of it a little bit is the fact that you ride this every day, which is a massive V-twin, and there's just something special about a V-twin. And I love the size of this. It's like, it, it is a sports bike, but with a bit of practicality. You say it, the it, BMW it, feels big or something. It does. This, feel, this feels tiny, but it's still a good touring bike. But you you know, do like the XR, don't you? I do like it, yeah. You only said it now, it's damn well gone. Yeah, I can gloat now. Yeah, I am. Um, well, that's it, six months. I wanted to do so much more with the bike, change the gearing and stuff. In fact, that's one of the only other points that's possibly a little short geared. It can be a bit buzzy. It does, it? it does scream yeah, everywhere. Yeah, which possibly accentuates those tingles, which I wish I'd never, ever mentioned. If you do, if you are, in fact, in the market for these sort of all-rounder bikes, you can look no further than the XR. The KTM. Look no further than the XR, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it's a more civilised, grown-up, better put together, Smoother, more delicious, slightly less exciting. Delicious. Delicious. Did you lick it a lot? Shut up. It's a brilliant bike. After the break, something that makes sense. <laughs> 